Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited about some of the updates we have in the pen tool. So stay tuned. At the end, we'll be talking about how to do auto switching, where your presets will change based off the window or the program that you're using. So stay tuned until the end. Now, when you install the pen tool, we have a brand new setup guide, welcome guide, that allows you to pick what stylus or what type of stylus you're using. So for me, I have here the Surface Pen, which is a one button pen with Bluetooth. Uh, you also have the option of actually choosing the R520 directly from here, which is two button stylus. And I'll show you what the differences are. The Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus is two button plus Bluetooth. Here on the second screen, we have our incompatibility chart, which shows which devices the pen tool is currently incompatible with. And we believe there's a bug in the Surface Pro 7, Pro X, and Book 3 that causes problems with the pen tool. And so it's incompatible. We've been working with Microsoft for about eight months trying to get this fixed, and we're getting pretty close. But right now, you want to know that this is a limited function. So you can use auto switching, keyboard shortcuts, color pickers, hex color pickers, um, but you cannot remap the side buttons on the Surface Pro 7, Pro X, or Book 3. If you are using one of these, you're going to want to click this activate button and that will put it into a uh, limited function so you don't have any um, glitchy pen behavior. So tap on the screen. This tells you a little bit about the artist pad. Uh, if you guys are getting this email or you're watching this video, there's a good chance you already know about the artist pad. That's the keyboard shortcuts that we use on the side to replace um, using a physical keyboard inside of art programs or note-taking apps. Uh, if you want to learn more, you can click here. And then if you're new to the pen tool, this is an icon that goes down here, right here. And that's where you find it. Some people have a hard time finding it, so I made this little information image that uh, should help out with that. So differences between the two pens, this one has just a single right-click button, so you can see eraser is disabled. Let's go ahead and go in here. We're going to select R520 and click Apply and Close. You notice here that when we reopen this that we have the new pen image and right click and eraser buttons are now active. The differences between those two, the eraser button is going to work as a uh, sub button. So if you're inside of ZBrush, you can subtract material and um, you can erase with the button on the side without flipping the pen around. So for 3D artists, this is definitely the better choice. All right, so let's go into some of the functions of the pen tool. So here, the right click is gonna be your most functional button. So on this one, that's gonna be the button on the right, uh, further up the barrel. And that's going to give you the option to map control, alt and shift to this button right here. So currently I have it set to alt, which means when I hold the pen down, I can navigate in ZBrush or I can color pick in Photoshop uh, or other different things. Okay, you cannot do that with the eraser. Um, you can try. We have these actually still in the list, but it has uh, different behaviors in certain programs and it doesn't work correctly. So uh, basically what happens is when you put the pen tip down, it just turns into the erase function. So we cannot override that behavior as things stand right now. If you guys have the Surface Pen or you have a different pen and you wanna buy some of the other ones, uh, we've made this easy. You can just click right here and it'll bring you directly to the Tablet Pro Shop, which has uh, the R520. And we've also set it up so that if you click on the Surface Pen, it'll bring you to the uh, Surface Pen purchase page on Amazon, as well as the Wacom Bamboo Ink Plus. All right, so one of my favorite uh, features that we've added is the click locations. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. We've made some nice improvements to this. And let's open up. Okay, so let's say we want, let's say we want to click two spots with the pen. Okay, so go into draw mode and let's bring this up here. Let's say I want to switch in between two colors. I'm just going to click here and drag, release, click here, drag, release, and click apply. This is really cool and I'm really excited about this. Blue purple. Well, that shouldn't really be green. <laughs> it should be, oh no, we started off with blue. Okay. All right. Uh, so purple, green, 
and you guys can see how quickly you can do that. Really easy to set up. You can toggle between an eraser or whatever. It's just location, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do. And again, eraser button on the side. One of the benefits of using the R520 stylus or a two button stylus with the eraser right here. Really fast and easy. Now a little bonus feature that we have. Um, I like the idea of being able to create a keyboard shortcut when there's not one currently in the program. So let's say we wanted to click this icon up here or we wanted a keyboard shortcut that did this. So we're using it. We want to use uh, the keyboard, the pen, and the pen buttons. You can have keyboard shortcuts that trigger. So you can use Alt. Uh, so here this is Alt 1 and Alt 2, Alt 1 and Alt 2. And that's going to click those two locations on the right click button. Alt 3 and Alt 4 are going to click the click locations on the eraser button. So you can make a keyboard shortcut for a program that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, even if you're not using the pen. All right, so another really cool feature that we added here is screen grab. So this one, you have quick paste. You can enable or disable this and a delay of 10 seconds. So let me demonstrate what that does. So here, I'm going to press the button. It's going to go to screen grab mode. We're going to go into our other program here, which is going to be OneNote. And I'm going to click and paste. So I haven't had to do anything different. I didn't have to open another program. I didn't have to go through the right click menu and choose paste. All of that was mapped to the same process. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Click, grab, paste. So cool and a feature that I really like and, and take advantage of often. So that's, um, yeah, part of what we're trying to do is to take away extra steps for people who do the same type of things that I do. And uh, if you guys have feature suggestions, please put those in the comments section of this video. All right, the next one is, again, a really cool adaptation. So we're going to go here. Now on the eraser button, we'll be removing Alt plus left click from the eraser button because it doesn't work here. It does work on the right click button. So here, what that looks like is we're going to hover. And this is extremely fast color picking. I don't like putting my pen tip down. I feel like it's an extra step. And this works really, really well. So you're using the right click button to hover color, hover color pick. Really nice, really fast. Now, if you guys don't have a two button stylus and you don't have a pen tool, we are giving the pen tool away for a limited time uh, when you buy the R520 stylus. Again, I'll put the link to that in the description of this video, as well as you can find it by clicking on the icon in the setup guide. There's an option uh, as well. All right, so now on to the, uh, I want to say big bananas. <laughs> I don't think that's a phrase. Uh, not at least one that's appropriate for this video. So on to uh, the big potatoes. There we go. I knew I'd get there. Okay, so the auto switching features inside of the pen tool. These include the side buttons. So you can have these change dependent on what program is active. Um, obviously these, if you guys know anything here, this is how you remap certain things. Just tap in here, hit control Z. If you want to double click in there, that'll erase what's selected. I'm gonna set control Z and hover alt click. And this is going to be my Photoshop setup. And let's go ahead and add. We're going to select from here the Photoshop EXE. Now some of these, like uh, OneNote, uses Application Frame Host, which is a generic title, EXE title from Microsoft. So you want to put this as well as type in OneNote here. For Photoshop, we don't need to do that. We're just going to choose Add New Preset. Go down here, select Photoshop, and we're going to go into Settings. Now, if you click here, Tablet Pro, Preset File, we're going to browse for the preset, and we'll select here, Photoshop CC. I'm on a Surface Go 2, so that's 1920 by 1080. Apply and close. Um, it's set to current mode. You can set it to uh, anything like 
uh, if you want it to, to open up a specific size artist pad or full screen mode, let's choose artist pad medium and hit apply and let's close this window. And uh, we do need to make sure that the artist pad, the tablet pro is currently on. Otherwise it won't launch it all the time for us. All right, so let's see what that looks like with this setup. So we're going to choose OneNote. You can see it switches to the OneNote preset, back to Photoshop, switches to the Photoshop preset, and Chrome I have it set to turn off and hide. So that does a really fast, really easy way to keep these all on hand without having to do anything extra. And I really like this functionality. This works on the Surface Pro 7 wonderfully and other devices where we might be lacking some of that functionality. All right, let's hit that keyboard shortcut to bring up the settings, control backslash. Uh, and again, this is key press OSD that's displaying the keyboard shortcuts for us. All right, so we've done a lot of work on the pen tool, a lot of improvements. Um, unfortunately, because of a, a couple different reasons, actually, the pen tool has dropped to two and a half stars and the last, I think, eight or nine have been one star ratings because of the incompatibility issues with the Surface Pro 7. Uh, I put it in the, the in the description of the pen tool. I put it in the compatibility section, but uh, unfortunately, it's still hard for people to see and, and notice. And so the reviews have been going down for the pen tool. If you use the pen tool, if you can rate the pen tool, it would be really appreciated. I'm spending a lot of time and a lot of money making this better and better, and I really want that to be reflected in our rating in the App Store. To rate the pen tool, click here and right click here, and then you can choose Rate App. That's gonna open up the Windows Store, and you can go down here to Reviews, click here, and then you can add your review. All right, you guys, thank you. I, I really appreciate all of you. I'm very happy to be able to serve you. Um, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.